Hello, welcome to the video. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. Good Tuesday. If not, hopefully this video will make your day a little bit better. I found a setup last night. Um, that was very quick build. On the Lamborghini Aventador LP. I believe it's 750, I think that's the full name. But anyway. If you don't have the Veron, this is probably a good alternate route to take. Um, all you basically would need is that overshot the turn on the first attempt. 500,000 for the car and roughly 100,000 or more for upgrades. At the end of the video, I have two screenshots to show you guys the full setup. Um, but other than that, um, if you can tell by the screen already, um, this is practically the very few first cars I've started using. Comfort hards on the front of the car and sport hards on the rear. And the reason why is when the race progresses on, the track of course gets drier. and if you have rear tires that have the comfort hards, uh, they will get worn out to the point where you're actually more in a drift-like state rather than just cruising around a corner. So, but with the sport tires, they have more grip, longer life, and they don't have the that consequence of you drifting or not having traction. Um, with the wheels. So what I recommend you doing is after the first lap you move your uh, fuel map setting to 4. As you'll see in a minute uh, doing this will allow you to pit on lap 7. Um, but just like the other other videos um, the car Handles very state. It's very stable, but with those comfort tires in the front of the car, um, it's pretty tight. I mean, and you have to gear pretty a little bit slower than usual. But um, your main big time gainer is going to be, of course, a straightaway, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, but yeah, it was it was overall a good setup. I was pretty pleased overall. I mean, it's not the it's not as fast as the Bugatti, but you know, if you don't have the fair on, then this is a pretty good setup to do to use. So, well, we're gonna fast forward here to our lap the pit. Received a penalty because we messed around and made a mistake on the last turn. Break too late. It's barricade, but you know, whatever. So we're gonna all we're gonna do is just fill up the car with gas. That's it. Not changing the tires. Tires are overall pretty okay shape still so far. And after that, we'll be back on the track and keep pulling away from the competition and win the race. And here we are on the last lap. So. Here we are going full, full power, and just look at that speed. As it says on the thumbnail, we hit 245, just a split second. So, this car has, you know, according to the thumbnail, over 930 or 60 plus horsepower, I can't remember which, but, um, I mean, it's very, very powerful in the straightaways, I mean, the handling's horrible, but the straightaway is what makes it count. So, um, other than that, if you just drive the car carefully, you'll be fine. Um, but I th overall, I think it was a decent, decent success. I mean, like I said, it's not like the Ferrari, but you know it's the best you can do uh, so 
And if I do find a better setup, I'll just do another up video, just do an update video. Because surprisingly with the car, it's not like the Ferron. The right height on the front of the car is not all the way maxed out to the end. It's actually a little bit more toward the middle, almost almost stock height. So uh if you do go all the way to the end it drops down to like five hundred and fifty. Okay, they put sport hards, but if you put sport hard tires, I'm just going to increase it like 690 or 680. So, I don't know. But, anyway, also, maybe later this week, big announcement with the update coming, especially with the big red Suzuka car coming with two other cars. And a potential new track as well. So stay tuned with that. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, share, and here's the setup. So, like I said, the right height on the front is not as big as is the fair on. It's almost near as stock, but you know. So that's what I got. And you can see comfort hards on the front, sport hards for the rear. So if you guys guys can pause the video whenever just make sure you got everything right and the, for the gear ratio 400 nothing's changed and there's all the upgrades I bought the weight reductions bought all those raising cramshaft the polished parts and the engine balance turning and the bore up have a good one